Hi friends. Okay, today is a little different video. I actually have to send a friend a video recording of how to exactly contribute to open source as I'm so proud of them. They are learning how to code and want to get into open source. So I thought what better thing to do than while I am recording this video to send them about open source and how to contribute to it and make your first PR to take you along with me. Before we get into it though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. And before we get into it, I also wanna say thank you so much to Vidcast from WebEx for sponsoring this video. Vidcast is a video messaging tool that makes it easy to record and edit short form videos. It allows you to share this content then with your team members, your friends, your family, and get quick feedback on the content. So it's really a great way to save people or teams time by being able to record yourself or your screen and get quick and easy feedback from your team members as they watch it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, also I like here you can see how long you've been recording for, finish, pause, or delete. So as I mentioned, I'm currently trying to show a friend how to uh, submit a PR for an open source project that they are helping out with. The first thing I'm going to do once I have signed in to Vidcast is go to new video. And this will allow the option, oh hello, you can see. This will allow the option to A, film me or also to film my screen. So if I go to camera off, camera on, there's options, screen off screen on, entire screen, window, Chrome tab. So there is a lot of different options you can navigate through. Okay, let's start recording. It will not be, it will not be this view. And I'm going to pull, I believe it's this one here. No, it's not. Give me a sec here. Okay, so this is the project that they are working on. Um, I think I have an example of what it looks like. I mean, we'll, we'll see very soon here anyways, but the first thing we need to do is to fork the repository. So I'm logged into my GitHub, and as you can see here in the top right-hand corner, it says fork. So just click on that. And then what it will do is it will change actually the URL from GitHub, the project name, to GitHub, what your GitHub name is, and then the project name, which is pretty cool. Okay, now what we can do is open up VS Code. I'm gonna drag it onto here and open up my terminal, new terminal. First thing I'm going to do is CD into my desktop. I feel like lately that's been where I'm putting all my projects. So if I showed you my desktop right now, you might just have a heart attack, but that's past the point. Next up, we need to do git clone so we can clone the project. And when we are using git clone, we're actually going to use this one here for the project, not the actual uh, project, the original project. And this is so you can, just as it sounds like, create a clone of the project for you to work on. Okay, you can see here we successfully cloned uh, DevHub onto our local computer. But once we've cloned it, it actually doesn't open just back up in VS Code, so we need to do that. You can either see, do that through terminal, or I'm literally just gonna drag and drop it. Okay, there we go. I just dragged it back into VS Code, and you can see now we have everything that the project entails for Dev, Dev Hub. So then what I usually do next is go to README. There's a lot of great advice and insight in README as to what the project entails, how to get it started, etc. I wanna show you the actual uh, project and what it looks like. Give me a sec here. Okay, you need to sign in to see it, but here, let me pull up this, which they sent me as an example of what exactly it looks like. So as you can see, it's a web as well as desktop based project developed for managing Git GitHub notifications and activities. So it's pretty complex. I think it's a really cool project and I'm happy to see others working on it and especially people I know that I can maybe help them with this process. So now let's go back to VS Code. And I'm not actually going to make changes to this project because the point of this video that I am recording for them is simply to show the process of submitting a PR for an open source project, which for me was one of the toughest parts and that's really why I wanted to make them a video. Okay, now we need to create our own unique branch that we can work off. And to do that, we go git checkout. Make sure you're in your project though. See, so I'm in dev hub and B and then the new branch name. So this branch name is, um, what could it be? It, let's do styling header updates. 
I don't know, that's probably a horrible name for a brand, but you get the idea. Switch to a new brand, styling header updates. So at this point, I'm going to make some changes to the project just so you can see what, I guess, to continue on with the entire, what is it, the entire process. So let's go to some JS and I'm simply going to change, um, what should I change here? Let's just change this to Tiff in Tech. And then don't worry, I'm not actually gonna do a request for this. But then what you can do is get status to see the status. And there you can see the files that were modified. So any files that you modified will show up here. So next up, you wanna add the changes you made. And to do that, you just add git add and star. Star symbolizes you want to add everything. Next up, we need to add a commit message. And for that, it's going to be updated the GitHub URL. Okay, there you can go. You can see one file changed, one insertion, and one deletions. deletion, sorry. Okay, the last step we need to do, it is really that simple, is we need to let the maintainer of this project know that we made some changes. And to do that, all we need to do is git push origin and branch name, which was style, you can see it here, styling-header-updates. Now at this point, I'm not going to actually press enter because I don't wanna bother this person with my ridiculous change I made, but that's as simple as it is. Okay, the last thing I would do at this stage is simply go back to your GitHub and there you will see changes that have been made. So make sure to refresh your page and the changes you will see are that there will be an option now where you can click on, what is it? Compare and pull request button. Once you click that, your changes have been made, your PR request was sent and now it's all in the project owner's hands to see if they want to review your changes and also merge them. It is truly that simple. I was so scared for so long to make an open source project out of fear of, Am I going to break something? Is is something going, am I going to be embarrassed? I don't know, I just, there was all these thoughts and honestly, contributing to open source is one of the best ways to really get up to date with code and feel like you're part of this community. You can get really invested and involved in open source projects and it's really fun. Okay, now that we have completed our tutorial or I've completed my tutorial and done it through Vidcast, I wanna show you just how easy it is to share with you the project. So back in Vidcast, as you can see, here is my project. And all you need to do is click on that link and then you can choose who you wanna share it with. Share with anyone, can view, or you can get specific people. For example, another thing that's really cool is if you go copy link, And the user, say this is someone else that you sent the link to, to review the video. They can leave comments, they can share the video, which is pretty cool. Okay, another cool thing you can also do is, back when you go to videos and click on your video, you can also trim the video, which I love that you can do that directly within Vidcast. You don't have to export it and then trim it. You can do anything if you, you know, maybe start a little later, start filming and then wanna cut that first part out or end part. All you need to do is click the scissors and you can trim whichever part you want, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to trim in this case, but you get the idea. Okay, another really cool thing you can do is add a description and chapters. So for example, to start with always zero, zero, introduction. Next one is at 050 for me, where I go into GitHub. And then the next one I go, where is it that I go in the code base? That is around 219. You can see here the chapter is already started. I want to add more. 219, open up VS code. And there you go. It will take you right to wherever your chapters are, which is really cool. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope it was very valuable on just how non-intimidating it really can be to uh, make your first PR on an open source project. I linked the open source project that I went through in, the, in this video down below, so make sure to go check it out. Also, I linked down below Vidcast from WebEx, so make sure to click on it and check it out. It's an amazing tool to use for really any kind of video messaging. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all soon. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>